Hello everyone, this is Goddess Timoness and Cinero. In today's video, we are going to share our experience in DC Universe Online and if you should even bother trying it. <laughs> Set in the DC Universe, in this game, you can encounter all of your favorite superheroes and super villains. And our favorite part is that it gives you the freedom to be creative in making your own superpowered character, while at the same time witnessing the atrocities that others have created. Even though this game was released back when Facebook was a popular new thing and we believed in Santa Claus, some aspects of it, such as the high levels of customization, are up to par or even exceeding some popular games. But we cannot deny the fact that the game's population is declining and there hasn't been any major update other than adding some new places here and there and a myriad of new cosmetic items. Let's start sharing our experience from the beginning. THE CHARACTER CREATION The best part about it compared to other MMORPGs is that it presents a large variety of superpowers and starting outfits, which lets you create a unique costume right from the get-go with a color slider that lets you pick any color of the rainbow, for good or for worse. The downside is that, while there are a lot of skins that you can pick from, some questionable enough that only Sinero would enjoy them, the faces are all the same, so expect an attack of the clones in DCUO. The tutorial is short enough that I didn't throw my laptop out the window before I finished it, and it presents the basics of gameplay in a concise manner. However, because I can't stand gameplay in a video game for more than 20 minutes, unlike other people, I had my sims buy me a level boost as soon as I finished the tutorial. While the cities are well made and loyal to their comic book appearances, the base game only lets you run around Gotham City and Metropolis, which can make you feel trapped as the world doesn't feel organic. New zones are added in DLCs, but they are incredibly small, and a lot of them feel like they were copied from the two main cities and only minimally tweaked. The quests are incredibly boring and repetitive, which is why I couldn't bother with a single one. They all ask you to kill stuff, click on other stuff, and then go into an instance to kill a boss. But at least there are some nice cutscenes at the end of it, and they somehow kept Sinera engaged enough to reach max level. And that's why Sinera is the only one that played a lot. I'm the one rambling about these stupid games, and according to her, once you reach the level cap of 30, you can continue to do group content like alerts and raids for gear or tokens to buy gear, increasing your power to absurdly high numbers. The PvP is another option in this game, but neither of us did it, because the only PvP I engage in is in real life, in bed with Sonera, when she massages me after I get angry about Star Wars The Old Republic, the MMO that annoyed me for two years, which I had to burn. And that's why I had to come here and start complaining about DC Universe Online. Anyway, the aspect that I love the most about this game is of course the cosmetics, the fashion war happening between the players in this game. The armor pieces are absolutely amazing, the customization options of these armor pieces are incredibly varied, and unlike other MMOs, they are bold enough to release sexy outfits among countless other accessories like auras, materials, and movement customizations. Every event, new and recurring, sees wonderful new armor pieces being added each year, so that is definitely a plus. The minus for you, however, is that you don't have as many sims as I do, because if you want to look gorgeous, be prepared to spend hundreds of dollars on daybreak cash for months upon months of loot boxes, because, let's be honest guys, this is a pay to win game, and if you are the type of guy that manifests his ego through hardcore gameplay rewards, then this might not be the right game for you. But don't worry guys, if you don't want to give this company any cash, you can still play it and have fun, because a positive aspect is that the daily reward system gives you some good looking armor sets every month just by logging in often. For those of you who love interior design, DC Universe Online offers highly customizable houses in the form of layers and hideouts. You have a lot of options for picking the entrance to your base. Then you can start furnishing your ugly ass apartment just like Sinera. 
one of the best decisions that the developer team has taken to help the declining population was creating the House of Legends, a shared player hub that brings players from both factions together. No longer are the heroes and the villains separated in the Watchtower and the Hall of Doom respectively. This new location is some type of Goldshire from the world of Warcraft or the fleet from Star Wars The Old Republic. This is the place where fashion wars are held and in an upcoming video we are going to arrest those players whose outfits are inspired by the junkyard and those whose style consists of throwing as much glitter as possible on themselves before plunging into rainbow vomit. If you enjoyed watching this video and you're looking forward to our future DC videos, make sure to like, subscribe and share our content. Also, check out our other videos in other MMOs such as Star Wars The Old Republic and World of Warcraft. Also, feel free to join our Discord server to discuss different MMOs and if you want to support us, make sure to check out our Patreon where we have updated our tiers and you can get monthly digital and physical rewards. Thanks for watching. Don't worry guys, if this game is going to disappoint me as Sutor did, we will make sure to burn it to the ground. But I think it's worth giving it a try. Until then, <laughs> see you in the next video. Ha 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 